Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. And today we're going to be talking about uh, the differences between the Surface Pro, Surface Go, and Surface Book, and not in the way that I've done it in the past, but we're going to do some actual speed performance tests with uh, Photoshop. So you guys can see, really, when you start getting a heavy workload, how these systems perform. And I have one specific test that I think you guys will like that will help you understand uh, really where they sit. And then uh, also some basic line tests, so you can see also how the pen performs, uh, how much jitter. So stay tuned. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you're the kind of person who really likes using your tablet for art or for note taking, then this is the channel for you. And this scenario size matters a couple different ways, and so does weight. So the Surface Go obviously is the lightest of the bunch. Um, the Surface Pro 6 is um, a bit heavier, but it's still pretty light. It doesn't feel like it's difficult to pick up. Surface Book 2 15 inch is definitely difficult to pick up. I have it sitting on the side of my bed when I'm using it and it's not an easy grab. And I think this is actually really important if you guys are working on art and you are uh, struggling to pick up the the device is kind of like if you want to be really good at playing the guitar, you don't put the guitar in the other room or you don't put it in the attic. You put it right next to your bed or somewhere where you can grab it and start playing almost immediately with no um, stops in between. And same thing here, if you're doing artwork, Surface Book 2 is the slowest and most difficult one to set up. So before we get, before we get into the actual speed tests, uh, let's talk about price real quickly. The Surface Go, roughly $350, you're going to need a pen, um, so about, with tax and everything, about $500. This sexy black Surface Pro 6, this is the i5 model, I think it's $799 right now. Uh, they frequently have sales on the Microsoft Store for $799 for this device with the pen. It's gonna cost you an extra 100, and the keyboard, a little bit more. Actually, some of their bundles are including the keyboard. So roughly $900, so $400 more than the uh, Surface Go. Okay, Surface Book 2, this model right here, 512 gigabyte uh, i7 model, is uh, roughly $2,500. So we're talking $2,000 more than the Go, and um, 1400 1500 <laughs> dollars $1, more than the i5 Surface Pro 6, $1,600 more. So in the background, you guys are going to see a couple different tests going on. I'm using Photoshop because I think that's the default standard, and uh, we're going to be doing the standard uh, artist tablet test. So it means we're going to open a 10,000 by 10,000 pixel canvas. Uh, if we can do that in on the Surface Go, if we can't, then it'll be 5,000 by 5,000. And then we're going to open up a 5,000 pixel brush, uh, the basic brush set with a hardness of 70%. And we're going to drag down and across, and you guys will be able to see the lag. And that'll show you kind of what, what you're working with when you're working between the um, Surface Book the um, Surface Pro 6 and the Surface Go. So I got this, I got this to do uh, virtual reality. It has a 1060 GPU in it, which is a great processor, especially for a laptop and one that you can do drawing on. However, I find that because of the bulk of the machine, which some people don't mind, you keep it in tablet mode all the time, but for me it's a pain in the butt to switch between tablet mode and um, laptop mode, uh, one where you have access to the keyboard and when you don't, and obviously this is one of the benefits of using Tablet Pro. Uh, you don't have to switch the device around frequently because you can put your shortcut keys right there on the screen. That said, in uh, retrospect, I think I would buy a dedicated gaming machine because you can find a light one that doesn't do drawing and have it because I, I used to travel a lot I don't travel a lot anymore but you could really 
for probably even the same weight, you could get, <laughs> you could get something that does gaming better than the Surface Book 2. And have I and I've never been a fan of multiple devices, but for the price you can get a better gaming rig and have the Surface Pro 6 i5 model which you use more frequently for drawing than if you had just gotten the Surface Book 2. Still, it's a good machine, not an easy pickup, not what I would recommend for someone who's trying to draw 2D art as much as possible. So keep in mind that during all these Photoshop tests, Photoshop is not the only option that we have, but it does show a very definitive uh, difference in performance. And if you guys are looking at something and trying to figure out where does it actually fall apart? You know, at what point are you going to see a difference? This is a great, great test. Uh, and one that I think that we should use across um, the entire industry when we're, we're doing tablet reviews for artists. I think this is a test that we need to be using. So put your comments below if you guys think that there's other tests that you'd like to add or if there's something about the way I'm testing it that you think makes it inconsistent or uh, an unbalanced test. And let me know and let's talk through it and see if we can develop this further so that it's a really clean, um, useful test for artists to, to check. So I use um, Paint Tool Sci version 2, not version 1. Um, version 2 is, in my opinion, completely and totally different with how it performs in a tablet environment. So version 2, Paint Tool Sci version 2 is what I actually use. And I have a video about it. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check out. So what is my conclusion? Um, well, my conclusion is kind of made for me. Uh, I had an iPad Pro and a Surface Go, and the iPad Pro ended up sitting around. I, and I didn't pick it up for months. Um, while having the Surface Go, Surface Pro 6, and Surface Book 2, I almost always exclusively use the Surface Pro 6, and I have all three to choose from on a, on a daily basis. So for, for a lot of you just, okay, well, it, it's nice to have features are different than what you actually use. I thought I was gonna be doing more gaming, more VR. VR is a pain in the butt to set up currently and doesn't work very well, doesn't work consistently. At least that was my experience on the Surface Book 2. So I ended up not using it as much. If you're a dedicated gamer and you do a lot of work, great. If you do a lot of 3D modeling, even even a lot of 3D modeling Surface Book 2, um, if you're using ZBrush, ZBrush does not use the GPU yet. Uh, at least that was what I was told last year. And so it may not matter at all. You might be fine with a Surface Pro 6 i7 model and happier and use it a whole lot more. So keep those things in mind. Uh, I think that this is really information that I wish I had had before I bought the Surface Book 2 and uh, could have used that money on a couple other purchases that I think would have been more useful as an artist. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm working on improving the quality of these videos. Obviously, you guys can see it's a different uh, type of video, a different quality of video. Let me know what you think. Uh, I put a lot of extra time into getting this set up, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of tweaks and a lot of things that I do different in the coming months. So uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay creative.